everybody what is going on welcome to the channel all right special video for you guys here today we are here doing a dangerous fsd drive this is one of the most notorious roads here in northern virginia we're on georgetown pike very small narrow two-lane road heading up to the capital beltway so buckle up because that's the only rule in fsd beta teslas that you got to follow and um, of course pay attention subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and take a look at how fsd is doing so very sharp curve coming up here nice job handling it as you can see we got traffic coming on both sides and um, fsd is doing its thing uh, let me drop the speed down to like 40 so that way you do have to maintain your maximum here so fsd knows not to exceed that um, but if it has a car in front of it it knows of course not to um, get past a certain distance and that's based on the profile that you select for fsd now take a look at this very sharp turn that the car handled really nicely i mean that that's got to be one of the most difficult turns to make like you got to slow down like humans have trouble making that turn there's no visibility at the top of the hill and fsd does a really amazing job with keeping it centered you know smooth and it, it feels really sleek going through that like without having to touch anything also mind you it you know it's keeping you know account for the cars coming on the other side of the road so if you got a truck that's taking up a lot of space you'll see fsd do like a little swerve move and try to make sure that it's see there it goes right there and try to you know create as much space and just a safe experience overall um fsd is definitely a great driver assist tool but of course it's not like um fully you know take your eyes off the wheel kind of thing sit in the back seat you know and uh we're not there yet but i think that the capabilities are there but to have like a one size fit program that fits everyone in the country i don't think we're there yet because fsd takes a lot of tweaking it takes a lot of people to use it and to give a lot of feedback for it to work um so you know it's it's like a system and it's like a, a like it's like a live organic system that is constantly being fed data and then tweaked you know based on code based on safety and uh it's pretty cool to see that tesla you know invented this system um you know a few years ago and look at where we're at today as well as you know imagine where we will be in like a few years so i think that's pretty cool to say nonetheless uh, very great to be a part of it as far as experiencing it i've had fsds for a little over a year now and in that one year i have seen some rapid improvements let me say um i like to use this road as one of my like courses and to see how FSD handles these turns and situations because this is like a pretty, you know, curvy, notorious road. Um, so th this is like a good test, I, I like to say. Um, I always try to keep in mind that no two drives are ever the same. So if you're from this area and you want to try this, you know, you always have to keep your eyes on the road just to make sure that someone's not crossing or there wasn't a situation that just occurred you know i've seen so many crashes in my lifetime on this road already um just this week i saw one so you know this is like really curvy dangerous road so you really have to be careful as far as like ready to take over um if you're gonna try to use fsd on it because yeah i mean as you can see here it's doing a great job uh, it, you know if you really think about it you've got like eight cameras around the car uh you know a human only has got like two eyes obviously so um 
So yeah, that, you know, that's four times better, the amount of vision. It's got eyes behind the back of its head. It can see, you know, in all directions. But for them to have all of that available and then not give you like a 360 like degree view is kind of wondering like all other car companies pretty much offer some kind of 360 view for the car like when you're reversing and whatnot or even if you just wanted to view it now I think like Tesla has those capabilities then they should just offer that um, hopefully that's something that we will be able to see soon but all in all the other companies that are offering that 360 degree view I guess isn't using that camera feed properly um, in order to utilize it to make it drive <laughs> So I guess Tesla asked himself what's the most important 360 view or using that camera feed to drive and so right now that, that's uh, that's going to be the most important thing. So I, I still ask myself like my car's got ultrasonic sensors and um, apparently they just removed them as in like disabled them but then I still get auto park and summon so I assume it's still being used for those two features but it's pretty amazing that it can drive without using ultrasonic sensors. Um, and my coworker actually has a hardware for Model Y performance with FSD because he used my referral code and he bought the car and he got like free six months. I think they knocked it down to three months now. But if you do use the code and you're watching this video, you get like a thousand bucks off. They got a lot of promotions right now. Um, so yeah, you know, if there's actually one promotion where you can get free six months of supercharging. So for those people that are like, oh, I want an EV, but I don't know where to charge. That's a great incentive for your first six months. You can just abuse the supercharger as much as you want. Um, and I'll have a link in the description below. So make sure to, um, yeah, if you know, if you're interested in ordering a car, you know, definitely use my referral and you'll get some free incentives. All right, so check it out. We made it to the end of Georgetown Pike. Well, not the end because it does continue, but we are gonna try to cut on to 495 North. And um, let's see how FSD does. So notice how we're getting into the left lane here. Notice how I haven't taken over this entire video. So since uh, the beginning of this video, there has been zero takeovers, which is amazing. And hopefully we can continue that and getting on to the beltway here without any takeovers. So yeah, I want to thank everyone for watching this. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Wow, some people are driving pretty aggressive here. It's funny because it was the guy with the Christmas tree in the back of his car that was cutting everyone off. That's the true Christmas spirit right there. No, I'm just kidding. Really nice job with that left turn. Take a look at how it merges here with the road. Oh, you know what? That wasn't FSD's fault. There was a major pothole over there. I probably could have avoided that, but all in all, it's still merged at the end of the road there. And take a look at how it gets on the FSD. Notice how it's picking up the visualization for the trucks already which is so cool ever since uh fsd um 11. Dot, what is this 7.4 i think it's gotten this really bold uh visualization and it, it looks great so yeah i really want to thank everyone for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it we got version 12 coming soon so make sure you subscribe to the channel because um i will be putting it through lots of tests and see how it performs. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hit that like button if you did. Hope you have a great rest of your day and thanks again for watching.